excited to look at um, integrating NHS AIPs with the Alexa voice um, assistant. We used an open API for NHS England hospital data, but we didn't have one for of Welsh A&E data, but we managed to get one made yesterday by Ross Jones, who wasn't even in the room. <laughs> now we're going to demonstrate these, and we need you to be really quiet while we're doing it, because we're going to show you how good they are. Open NHS Hack Day. Welcome to NHS Hack Day. What would you like to know? What's the waiting time at Royal Red Hospital? Currently 58 patients waiting at Royal Gwent Hospital. Open NHS Hack Day. Welcome to NHS Hack Day. What would you like to know? What's the car parking at John Radcliffe Hospital? John Radcliffe Hospital has parking facilities. Car parks at the John Radcliffe Operator pay on foot system. Open NHS Hack Day. Welcome to NHS Hack Day. What would you like to know? What's the rating at Moorfields Hospital? Moorfields Eye Hospital, City Road. It's rated 4.2 out of 5 stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open NHS Hack Day. Welcome to NHS Hack Day. What would you like to know? Is my prescription free? Do you live in England? Yes, I do. The standard prescription charge in England is £9. However, certain groups of people are exempt from the charge. We've got some examples of those groups that if you sort of um, So we hope you've demonstrated how NHS API can work with voice assistance. So thank you, and if you have any questions. It's anyone who already has a voice assistant and might be busy, you know, while you're in the middle of giving CPR, you don't want to be <laughs> <laughs> fiddling, with, uh, fiddling with your phone. That's a good well, I also think that it actually forces, uh, it demonstrates the benefit of actually having open APIs that you can go off and do something like that. So as much, that's why we, I partly wanted to be involved in it to start giving you cases for why you actually there's a benefit. So I could go back to my Welsh colleagues and say, we put up that information on that website, we can put an API on it, a PI on it for it, but actually we once we generated that then we can do this. Um a really two really good questions. First, uh, the rating data, where did that come from? Uh, it's from the organizational data on it, just okay. Got it, thanks. And um, what would you, what would it take to get this fully adopted into Alexa? <laughs> uh, a, a lot of work. So <laughs> we need to convert um, uh, hospital names into their organisational codes. So we, we did that with, I think, eight different hospitals, but um, you also need synonyms as well. So for example, Royal Gwent, does that work if you just say Gwent Hospital, for example? I think also APIs that so for the waiting time data, that was just for Welsh hospitals. Um, so we can find that for English data and some English units that would want to different areas, but nowhere the coverage is everywhere. Great, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.